so thrilled to be at this table with you, wonderful, extraordinary women leaders, and it is a great pleasure for all of us to have this opportunity to hear from you. We're very happy to be here. Thank um, you. Yes, thank you for including us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the platform. about your career and thinking about the work that you have done and continue to do, what do we need to do to get more women into the areas of asset management, wealth management, and pure finance? It's very important that we have women in leadership roles because it's hard for you to be what you cannot see. As leaders, we need to be intentional in making sure that we are developing the next generation of female leaders. We need more people, men and women, that are willing to ask the sponsors for those younger talents. Everybody needs to recognize that it's a win-win for both, for yes. men and for women. Somehow they see it as one side, you know. If we support women, promote them, we're gonna lose. Actually, you really will be a winner. And we have to educate the men we have to educate the women yes. that this is this is the right, and they are actually making life better, mm -hmm. making yeah. this world better. That has to be recognized. How can we get more women advocates, more women judges, to help contribute to equal justice for all? It starts, like many things, with young girls and young women and increasing their ambition for our profession. If you get young girls out of their seats and in front of classrooms early on, then to stand up and deliver a presentation in a courtroom doesn't seem like something that's not for them. For those of us who are members of the profession, we have to continue to be uh, accessible. It's really important that we accept speaking engagements and opportunities, and then we allow people to follow up with us. We invite them to our offices where we can have that one-on-one -on -one time with them to kind of give them a blueprint for what they might be pursuing. How have you observed the influence of women in the legislature and how can we kind of build more numbers of representation at the elected official level? We have a good number of women on the House Appropriations Committee. Not enough in the Senate though. And that's an area we need to look out for. Women in politics can really shift the focus on areas that are, are normally thrown aside. I do see so many uh, opportunities for uh, more women coming into the pipeline and this idea of having uh, less than 19 percent uh, at both the U.S. and the state level versus our 52 percent representation in the population has got to change quickly. <laughs> I want to hear from you a little more about the changing role of women in the home. We spend enormous amounts of money and time getting the education and the experience to be able to contribute at the highest levels of our professions. And then we begin to uh, develop our families and often we abandon the, the course that we were on because we don't have enough flexibility in our workplaces. The way that it is so far, we can only do what we do in terms of bringing people into the world. <laughs> and so as long as that is the case, um, we have got to have more flexibility in our workplaces that takes that in consideration and allows us to do that and also continue to uh, perform and contribute in our workspaces and, and continue to stay on tracks that allow us to reach the highest levels. If we were to focus on one area that would make a significant impact on how women are paid and equally paid is ensuring that that time out for children 
is not a penalty. penalty. It yeah. shouldn't be discounted. It should be promoted and it should be rewarded. Mm -hmm. Our world is now seeing that the benefit of balance and the benefit of women in leadership there with men together, making collaborative decisions and bringing to the table the things that women can bring uniquely and partnering that with what men bring uniquely makes for better companies, makes for better performance, makes for a better life. What everyone here said is very, very important. To see role models is tremendous. To have mentors is tremendous. To have the sponsorship is awesome. And this is the role that the Dallas Women Foundation played in my life. When you say stronger woman, stronger world, these are not just words. This is really a fact. You have stronger women, you empower them, you will empower a better society throughout the world. Thank all of you for being part of the ripple effect. Thank all of you for the ripple that flows out from the work that you do, the lives that you live and the greatness that you inspire. Thank you all. Thank you.